and welcome to the Ismaili Update May Recap. My name is Hassan and I'm excited to be your host today, coming to you from Sydney. At the start of May, Princess Zara visited Tanzania, where she attended the opening ceremony of the Cancer Care Centre at the Aga Khan Hospital in Dar es Salaam. In case you missed it, we released an episode of the Ismaili Update covering the event. Later that trip, Princess Zara also met with the Prime Minister of Tanzania, the Honourable Qasim Majaliwa, at his office in Limwa de Doma. They discussed matters of mutual interest, and the government recognised the efforts being made by the Aga Khan Development Network to serve the people of Tanzania, particularly in the health and education sectors. AKDN agencies have been present in Tanzania for over a century, working in the fields of poverty alleviation, education, healthcare, economic development, and cultural restoration. And just last week, Princess Zara was in Pakistan, where she visited AKDN healthcare and education centers in the north of the country. Check out the Ismaili update we posted earlier this week for more details. On 10th of May, Prince Amin was honored with the gold medal of Castelo Branco, in recognition of his efforts to promote arts and culture in Portugal and around the world. This prestigious award is the city's highest distinction and was presented during the 253rd anniversary celebrations of Castelo Branco's elevation to city status. Aga Khan University Hospital Kampala's Nakawa Specialty Centre opened to the public. The center offers a wide range of specialized outpatient healthcare services including chemotherapy, dialysis, and diagnostic imaging. The Nakawa Specialty Center joins the AKU Hospital's three other medical centers in Kampala and is the first facility in the upcoming AKU Kampala campus. Arthi, a participant of an Aga Khan Foundation program called Project Lehar, won the prestigious Amal Clooney Women's Empowerment Award for her determined efforts to drive change. Arthi is one of the first pink e-rickshaw drivers in Uttar Pradesh, an initiative where female drivers aim to provide safer public transport for other women. Arthi started her business after joining Project Lehar, which is run by AKF, with support from King's Trust International. The objective of the program is to empower adolescent girls and young women by enhancing their skills, confidence in team building, interaction, communication and more. Congratulations Arthi! Just a few days ago, the newly rehabilitated Al Muradani Mosque was unveiled to the public in Cairo. The project was funded by the European Union and implemented by the Aga Khan Trust for Culture. The mosque was originally constructed in 1340 and serves as a remarkable example of Mamluk architecture in Cairo. Located in the historic neighborhood of Al Darb Al Ahmar, the project aims to enhance access to Cairo's rich Islamic heritage and boost cultural tourism for economic growth. Applications are now open for the third cycle of the Aga Khan Music Awards. Established by Molana Hazar Mam in 2018, the award aims to strengthen tolerance and pluralism around the world by promoting musical genres and styles that embody music's traditional role as a source of spiritual enlightenment, moral inspiration and social cohesion. For more information, visit the website on the screen. Earlier this month, volunteers from Ismaili Civic USA packed over 100,000 meals in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Ismaili Civic has partnered with the US Hunger Organization for five years on this initiative, and over 600 volunteers, some as young as six years old, participated in this activity. Riyazat Ali Shah, a young cricketer from Gilgit, Pakistan, will be vice-captain of the Ugandan national team at the T20 Cricket World Cup next month. After playing in the 2016 Jubilee Games in Dubai, he was offered a contract to join the Aziz Damani club, and from there he made his way to the Ugandan national team. Committed to helping young cricketers in his home country, Riyazid recently funded the construction of the first dedicated net cricket practice facility in Gilgit. Good luck Riyazid! In case you missed it, the Ismaili TV released an In Conversation episode with Sultan Alana, 
director of the Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development. The episode offers insights into its strategic vision and its impact on the lives of people in the developing world. It has been my pleasure to be your host today. Thank you and Yali Mulut.